Imagine falling absolutely in love with a property, putting down a down payment on it, and then realizing 12 months later you can't afford it. That's a nightmare you can avoid by watching this video. Buying a home is one of the biggest financial decisions you'll ever make, and like all major life events, it should be approached with careful, advanced planning. Unfortunately, a common mistake amongst prospective home buyers is starting the hunt for a house before understanding their budget and their financing options. Now, I know what you might be thinking. I'll start worrying about the home loan once I find my dream house. But no, this is wrong. This approach can set you up for disappointment and financial strain if you happen to fall in love with a property only to discover you can't afford it or you can't get approved for a loan that has favorable terms for you. The best advice I can give you is to start thinking about your home loan way before you even start house hunting. Obviously, the more time you give yourself, the better, but at the bare minimum, start this process before you look at that first open house. Mustaka, everyone, I'm Georgina, a qualified loan expert and co-founder of Estra Finance, a mortgage brokerage here in the Philippines. We create these videos to ensure Filipinos are equipped to make the most informed financial decisions possible and help turn their dreams into a reality. In today's video, I'll break down why it's important to start thinking about your home loan before you start hunting for your dream home. Simulan na natin. Reason 1. Get ready early so you don't waste your time, money, or get your heart broken. First up, before you even step into an open house or virtually tour a property online, you need to know two crucial things. How much you can borrow and who will let you borrow it. This isn't just about avoiding disappointment. It's about avoiding serious financial strain. Imagine this. You find your dream property. You get all excited, maybe even put down a reservation fee or an initial down payment. But guess what? If you haven't sorted out your financing first and you later discover, sometimes up to as much as a a year later that you can't secure the loan you need, then you're in a tight spot. You might think, no worries, I'll just use the developer's in-house financing. But whilst in-house financing may have its pros, like faster approval or less stringent requirements, it comes with a significant downside and that's usually higher interest rates. And let's not forget shorter loan terms. So what does that mean for you? Higher monthly amortizations. You could end up paying so much more every month and put yourself into severe financial strain, all because you didn't plan for your home loan in advance. So the moral of the story here is to plan ahead to save not just your money, but also your dreams of owning that perfect home. You don't want to lose a property you've fallen in love with, nor do you want to waste 12 months of your life and hard-earned money. So before you think about buying a home, I suggest you know these three things. Know what your maximum borrowing power is, know how much the monthly amortizations of that will be, and know which banks will lend you that money based on your specific financial situation. Now, I will admit that there are a few problems with my advice. If you go to a bank and ask what your borrowing power is, they will give you a number that's based on your income and absolutely nothing else. So just for example, and this is not accurate, let's say if you earn 50,000 pesos a month, a bank will lend you 3 million pesos. The thing about this number is that it's not truly reflective of what you can actually borrow because the bank takes into consideration way more information than just your income. They also allow for your existing debts and your credit cards and your credit score. But the fact of the matter is a bank will never give you anything more than this estimated amount because they need you to have a property in mind when they give you your real loanable amount. And they can't promise you'll get approved for a loan with them at this point in time because they don't know all your private financial history yet. So why do I give this advice if the banks can't help you? Because you should use a loan specialist like Extra Finance. With loan specialists, you don't need to have a property in mind to get your actual borrowing capacity. We look at your full situation in order to get this figure and it's far more accurate and reliable than anything the bank will give you when you're just starting out your home buying journey. The other thing a loan specialist like Estra Finance can do is tell you who is likely to lend to you, what interest rate you can get, and what you can expect your monthly amortizations to be. We have partnerships with the top banks in the Philippines that allow us to do this with accuracy. So by talking to Estra Finance before you even start looking at houses, you'll know your accurate maximum borrowing capacity, which banks are likely to approve your loan, what your potential interest rate may be, and what your monthly amortizations amortizations will be. Now you can go shopping for a home with a whole lot more clarity and confidence. And really, isn't that a whole lot better than just guessing? Reason two, get ready early so you can increase your borrowing capacity. So we've talked about your borrowing capacity and how you can find out what it is. But how can you improve it? In simple terms, your borrowing capacity is the maximum amount a lender is willing to give to you. And if you want to buy the best house you can afford, then it's critical you maximize your borrowing capacity. So what factors play a big role in determining this capacity? 
wealthy. Two things, your income and the amount of debt you have. You want the most income possible with the least amount of debt possible. Planning ahead gives you the golden opportunity to optimize both of these factors. If you want to increase your income, maybe it's time to go for that promotion. You might be able to put in a few months worth of overtime, but this is not the time to switch jobs unless you plan on waiting two years to apply for a loan. And I'll discuss this further in the next section. But what about your debts? Prioritize paying off high interest loans first to avoid more debt. After the high interest loans, pay off the ones due first. Having several loans is okay as long as you pay them on time. Banks care more about consistency. Late or overdue payments are a big red flag for banks. But of course, improving your income and lowering your debt takes time. So the earlier you start planning, the more time you'll have to boost your income and manage your debts effectively. This improves your borrowing capacity, which could mean a better home for you in the long term. Reason three, get ready early so you can meet your bank's lending criteria. Let's dive into something else equally critical, the different lending criteria of the banks. Lending criteria is pretty much the rules and the guidelines that banks use to decide whether you're eligible for a loan and how much they'll lend to you. Lending criteria can involve things like how much you earn each month, how many people are applying, your age, and what documents you can provide to prove that what you say is actually true. The reason why you want to start planning on getting a home loan extremely early is because you may need time to reach your preferred bank's lending criteria. Let me go through a few examples. Your debts. One of the key factors banks look at is your debt, specifically your total debt ratio and any unpaid debts you might have. If you have significant debts, you may need time to pay these off completely or even just to lower the amount you owe on them. It's also important to know that even after you pay these debts off, it might take some time for this updated information to reflect on your financial statements. So the sooner you start tackling this issue, the better. It's not really something you want to leave until the last minute. Your employment. Another major criterion is your employment history. Most banks will require at least two years of stable employment to even consider you for a loan. This is why I said before that if you want to increase your income to get a higher borrowing capacity, changing jobs is not the solution unless you're planning for two years in the future. If you haven't been in the same job for two years but you've had continuous employment for two years, then some banks are more lenient and might accept this. But this might not be okay with your preferred bank, so it's important to keep that in mind. And here's a pro tip. Knowing you need two years of stable employment can help prevent you from making impulsive job changes when you're getting ready to purchase a home. Preparing documents. Another reason you might need time to meet the lending criteria is because you need to organize your documents. If you don't have your original identity documents on hand, like a birth certificate or a marriage certificate, or if you're self-employed and need to register the business properly, you need to get them in order to proceed with a loan. Most banks have a full list of documents they need from you on their website. So this is an easy step to plan ahead for. Actually, most of their lending criteria is on their website. So make checking their website a part of your initial planning process before you you go house hunting. Gaining an understanding of what the lending criteria are early is essential because some requirements take time and can't be rushed. The delays can be avoided with good planning and preparation. Reason four, get ready early so you don't become house poor. Let's discuss another crucial aspect of sorting your financing early, ensuring you don't end up house poor. If you're not familiar with the term, being house poor is essentially when you can afford to pay your housing loan, but you can't afford much of anything else. All of your money is tied up paying off your mortgage, utilities, insurances, and home maintenance. You can't go out with your friends, you can't go on vacations, and you can't pursue goals that involve any financial investment. This is clearly not a great situation to be in. The key to avoiding becoming house poor is planning. Yes, it is that simple and also that complex. When you plan ahead for your home loan, you get a clearer picture of what you can actually afford, which includes more than just the monthly mortgage payments. What we suggest you do is create a budget that includes things like what you want your lifestyle to be, how many times you want to eat out a month, what your future plans are, whether you want kids or if you plan to travel abroad, how much do you want saved for your emergencies, and then fit a house within that budget. That that way, your lifestyle and other big life goals dictate the home you can afford and not the other way around. Reason five, get ready early so you can build up loyalty points with your preferred bank. 
So we've covered quite a bit so far, from understanding bank criteria to boosting your borrowing capacity. Now let's delve into a lesser known but game-changing strategy, building up loyalty points with your preferred bank. Why would you want to focus on building up loyalty points with your bank? Well, it can actually improve your chances of getting your home loan approved. Not only that, you may even qualify for a discount on your interest rate, which can save you thousands of pesos in the long run. How do you go about winning the favor of your preferred bank and enjoying these perks? Well, firstly, maintaining a good history with your loans and credit cards speaks volumes about your financial responsibilities. Banks love to see that. Next, having a high daily balance in your accounts is another positive indicator. Banks love customers who keep substantial amounts in their accounts as it indicates stability and the potential for future business. And lastly, avoid financial pitfalls like overdraws or bounce checks. Those are red flags that could totally derail your chances of securing a favorable home loan. Now, I'm sure you've realized that the above takes time. Building a solid reputation with your bank takes time, but planning ahead and fostering a strong relationship with your bank can give you a significant advantage, especially when you're eyeing that dream home. So start today, plan ahead, and set the stage for a successful home loan application. Reason six, get ready early to prepare your down payment. Let's talk about a key part of the home buying process that often takes the longest time to prepare for, the down payment. Your down payment needs to be about 20% of the home selling price. People can save for years, if not decades, to secure this amount of money. Planning ahead in this instance is not just recommended, it's essential. But it's hard to know how much you need to save for for your down payment if you don't know how much you can borrow from the bank and therefore know what house you can afford to buy. This is why it's so, so, so important to start thinking about your home loan early. All of these steps we've gone through already are useless if you don't start saving your money for the down payment as early as possible. Create a focused saving strategy, whether it's setting aside a percentage of your monthly income or identifying additional income streams and make this savings goal a whole lot easier to achieve. Reason seven, get ready early because learning about home loans takes time. Home loans probably aren't something you can fully grasp overnight. There are various types of loans interest rates, terms and conditions. Then there are things like mortgage insurance, amortization schedules, and so on. The more you know, the better decisions you'll make and the more money you'll likely save in the long run. So you need to invest the time to understand the intricacies of home loans. It's an investment that will pay dividends when you're sitting comfortably in your dream home with the right home loan. But I also understand that not everyone has the time to learn the complexities of home loans and know all the different lending rules and guidelines of the banks. And that's why Extra Finance exists. It's our job to guide you through every single step of the home loan process and make it stress-free, headache-free, and actually free. Yes, our services are almost 100% free. If you don't have the time to learn about home loans and want a guide, then please visit our website via the link in the description and check us out. That brings me to the end of this video, but before I end it, I would just like to mention two things. Firstly, if you're in the real estate industry and you've got clients who could use a loan specialist, we'd love to work with you to help your clients find the best financing for their situation. Extra Finance has a great referral program with uncapped commissions, so please sign up to our referral program using the link below. And secondly, if you're a potential home buyer and you're looking for some expert guidance from before you start buying your home to getting your loan approved to refinancing your home to get a second one, we're here to help. So check out our website and jump on our waitlist using the link on the website as well. We'll be reaching out to every single one of you as soon as we've launched, which is quickly approaching. And that's a wrap on that. Please show your support with a like, comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Inga!